In this video, I'm gonna show you three exercises you can do right now to improve the strength of your knee. Okay, so let's go through the muscles of the knee. Quadricep in the front, hamstrings in the back. If you have good strength in those muscles, you can control your knee and you're gonna have less likely of a chance of having some kind of injury. So first one I'm gonna show you is called a three-way Muncie's quad activation exercise. So you're gonna find a wall, scoot your back right up to the wall like that, legs straight out in front of you, and what you're gonna do is turn your quad on. So you're gonna push this knee down into the ground, and as you do that, this muscle will kick on. So you can kind of feel that happen. Toes right straight ahead, it's called three ways because your toes are gonna be in three different positions. Toes straight ahead, all you're gonna do is lift this up. So not gonna come up far, right? It's only gonna come up a little bit, but you're gonna lift that up and you'll feel this muscle working really hard. Hold for five seconds, back down. Now you're gonna turn this foot out a little bit. Now we'll get into hip external rotation, activate the muscle on the inside of the quadricep here. So same thing, push down towards the floor and you're gonna lift up, hold, one, two, three, four, five, back down, and then you probably guessed it, you're gonna come all the way in into hip internal rotation. Keep the foot there, and then lift that up. You're gonna work on the vastus lateralis, this, this section of the quadricep on the outside. And same thing, toe in, and then lift up, one, two, three, four, five, and then back down. All right, the next one you're gonna do is a banded box squat. So, we're gonna take a band and put that around our knees. If you don't have a band, you don't need one, but I'm trying to get this band around your knees to work on hip external rotation as we do a squat. So, um, if you're feeling strong, you can use a weight. You don't have to use a weight with this, but if you don't have a weight at home, we use lots of kettlebells here in the clinic, but a, a gallon of milk is eight pounds. That's something good you can start with. So, feet shoulder width apart, feet straight ahead. You're gonna push your knees out against this band and then you're gonna go down into a squat position, keeping this weight close to you, and then come back up. So from here, what it look like, I would do this with a chair, so same thing. Feet straight ahead, knees out, going down. Touch the chair, but don't flop down into it. So you're touching the chair, feel the pressure there, and then come back up. Same thing on the way back up. Don't let your knees collapse in. We put this band here, it might seem counterintuitive, because it's pulling your knees in. This is really bad knee position. Good position is knees over the outside of the toe. So it forces your external rotators in your hips to kick on and that's gonna help out the muscles that control the knee. So from here, down as far as you can go, feeling those muscles in your quadriceps work. Come back up, touch the back of a chair and then come back up. And the last exercise we're gonna work on is just a split squat. So I'll show you from both angles, but from here you're gonna split your stance Right? And you're gonna think about taking the leg that's back, that knee down to the ground. So what's a good idea too, is to have a pillow or some kind of pad down there, so that when you get down to the bottom, you're not hurting your knee, especially if you're working on a hard surface. But from here, you're gonna keep this foot stable, this one's gonna stay on the ground, this back heel is gonna come up as you do this. So from here, just kind of sinking your body straight down. Sinking it down to the ground and thinking about getting this knee to the floor. I'm just gonna get my knee to the floor, pause, and then come all the way back up so that my hip, my knee, and my foot are straightened out. And you're feeling this in the muscles here, in the quadricep, and some muscles in the back side of the hip on this side. So those are three exercises that you can do to strengthen up muscles around your knee. If you want some more information, more resources about these exercises and other exercises you can do, check out the description in the bottom of this video. If you want more information like this, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that you get more stuff from our YouTube channel. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video and as always, just keep moving.